These college footballers are in peak physical condition. However, crunching tackles, collisions and high-speed twists and turns can all cause them injuries during their careers, leading to both short and long-term pain. Whether it's buying paracetamol over the counter or having morphine administered in hospital, in Western societies, most people cope with pain by taking drugs. As we become more aware of the consequences and side effects of those drugs, many doctors and their patients are looking to alternatives. Magnetic devices for pain management have a checkered history, but a big research project here in Nashville is replacing some of the hype with solid science. Dr. Robert Holcomb believes he's at the centre of an incredible breakthrough in pain relief. Here at Vanderbilt University, he's tracking changes in the body's electrical field which indicate the origin of pain. In this case, the pain of migraine. I've been driving down the road and gotten one and had to pull over and have someone come get me because you can't see. The magnet block is Dr. Holcomb's own invention. He claims that by creating a strong magnetic field, you can significantly reduce the transmission of pain signals. I'm going to put one over the temple right where you're having the pain behind you. Uh, With this device, it's like a point-and-shoot device. It's like a ray gun. You treat that area, you don't treat the entire body, so you avoid all these side effects. I love them. I don't go to the emergency room. I don't take any of the medicines. I don't do any of that anymore. So is it instant relief for you? Within a minute or two. Dr. Mike McLean runs the lab testing of the magnets. He and his research team have the task of showing precisely how the magnet block dampens the nerve impulse that triggers pain. Devices like magnets have not been tested in, in this Western rigorous scientific method. So what we hope to do is take the method to the magnets and see if we can produce results that are acceptable to conventional Western medicine. Now this doesn't mean you can take any old fridge magnet and get pain relief. This graphic shows how the unique arrangement of the four magnets in each device produces the steep magnetic field that makes the difference. And you're about to see the dramatic effect of this field on the nerve impulses. Now pain is frequency coded. Okay, the faster the nerve cell fires, the more intense the pain is perceived to be. And with time in this experiment, you're going to see them move out. You see this one wobble, oh, now one fails in the presence of the magna block. I mean, we're, we're able to knock out 80% of impulse firing by these cells. Uh, and that's reversible by removing the fields. So this is a dramatic effect. It's a big effect. It's not a slight effect that uh, is barely detectable. John Unger is a low handicapped golfer whose days on the links were nearly ended months ago because of a ruptured disc in his spine. And I was totally unable to, to rotate through the ball. I uh, played in a tournament the week before I went to see the doctor and and could not break a hundred. And then I went to uh, see him and played in a tournament the following weekend and, and got my game back to, down to where it normally is shooting in the 70s. John now wears the magnets all the time without a trace of the pain that he had. Although several thousand people have worn the MagnaBlock devices over the years of clinical research, there are many skeptics among doctors who say there's still an enormous amount of work to be done to prove unequivocally that magnets have a place in pain management. Australian pain specialist, Professor Nick Bogduk, says that while the study results are statistically significant, they're limited. Much greater information is going to be required, particularly on how long does any effect last and how many patients benefit to what degree. Try telling that to patients like John Unger. These magnets have really made me become totally pain-free and, and able to do all the things I used to do before. As you go back in history, particularly in uh, Asian countries, magnets have been used forever and ever, just as acupuncture has been used forever and ever. And I, I would draw the parallel to acupuncture where um, acupuncture wasn't accepted in the West because it hadn't gone through the rigorous scientific testing. If you want to find out all the positives and negatives of magnetic therapy, check out our fact sheet. We'll give you the details at the end of the show. Coming up.